BLM gear here. Stop looking insane. Hello. Yeah. Oh, there's a protest going on. Yes. Yes. And I think it's a lefty protest. We did it. We did it. I really hope they arrest him. Guys, could you help convert my Trump supporter friend to stop being insane? Yes. We're incentivizing like even more people to try to come in the future. Yeah, I, I understand your point of view and maybe, maybe, maybe you yeah, can be right. I am Destiny on YouTube and Twitch and Instagram. Can I look you up? Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I am in Washington, D.C. with our favorite friend, Destiny. Well, good original joke, dude, good one. <laughs> And we're gonna go check out the city wearing some of our favorite outfits. Got some good BLM gear here. What are you wearing today? My favorite hat for my you, favorite person. Can you president. look this way and stop looking insane? Hello, yeah, there you go. Are you happy? <laughs> what? Okay. How are you all today? Destiny Super L. Do I win this one? Or is the BLM shirt not an L? Hey Jack, how's it going? Confused. This is literally just a just chatting, just walking stream. Well, this is odd. This is, you've actually entered another universe. Jesus. <laughs> Love you, Lauren. But what the fuck are you doing with Destiny? That's an excellent question because it's the ultimate anime crossover. Um, I may just be on a show tonight. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert that you should probably watch live if you can guess what it is. Wait, are you allowed to say? Are Brittany you... Venti's here. Do you want to say hi to Brittany? She says, I don't know if I like this timeline. Oh my God. <laughs> How many times has she called me a pedophile so far? This is kidnapping. I've entered the twilight zone. People are not liking this content already. That's good. I hope you get a lot of fucking hate for it. All right, let's go. <coughs> I thought that, so there was supposed to be a Washington truckers protest, but I think they get here on the 5th. Good one. Okay, I'm almost ready, chill. Yeah, we're gonna look. There's nothing more disgusting than seeing people walk around with phones streaming. And it's going to be both of us, which oh is just... Oh my god, awful. and we're going to get to soy out when we see our favorite politicians. You think AOC will give me one of her shoes? Oh my god. <laughs> you can just go grab it with that hat. True, exactly. We're going to go to the Capitol and say... Actually, no, that's going to like get the FBI <laughs> Wait, we can't go to the Capitol? I thought that's where we were going. <laughs> we are going to the Capitol, but I feel like if I say on stream, we're going to the Capitol, and you just said you're going to steal AOC's shoes. <laughs> that's true. Just... I mean, obviously, I'm joking, okay? <laughs> oh, hello, FBI. Um, I already got inside Brit connects that have like seven pairs of her shoes, okay? <laughs> Brittany just said, you're not a pedo, you're a pedo apologist. Oh, thank you so much for distinguishing. How hmm. did you get across the border? That's for me to know and you not to find out. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that... Yeah, I'm kind of shocked I'm in America right now, but we made it work. Um, Mike says, thank you for the super chat, my friend. NATO has devolved into robber barons who turn their aggression towards their own people. What did, there is no NATO aggression. Shut the fuck up. You people are so <laughs> fucking stupid. Your chat's gonna trigger the fuck out of me. Good. Does Destiny still think highly of Dementia Joe? He seemed to enjoy his long weekend while this war goes on. Dude, Joe has done a great job at handling this war. Uh, better than any other, better, inconceivably good. I'm actually shocked. He's not even 
at how well he's doing. Yeah, you can't even fight. You're trying so hard. Yeah, he's, he's, he's senile. Meanwhile, he's senile. Meanwhile, Are you kidding? Meanwhile, meanwhile, Trump is like, oh, they're invisible planes. You can't even see them, right? And this guy thinks fucking Wonder Woman is flying around. Oh, so you, fucking you think Jeffrey, it has right? been Biden himself sitting there like, yes, I'm going to navigate this war, which, first of all, shouldn't have happened in the first no, place. If I Trump were in office, it. you think Putin would have invaded Ukraine? If Trump, Trump loved Putin. Yeah, Trump would probably be like, oh, well, it's his territory. He said it was independent. It must be. I don't think so. I don't think so. Who was that? Hold on, wait a second. I'm, fuck, hold on. I'm Putin asking. Putin kind of I, I waits for his invasions wait. for when Democrats who, are in office. Who was the, um, uh, I'm trying to remember. Who was the guy that Trump got impeached for withholding military aid from? What was that guy? Do you remember? No, and clearly you don't either. Oh, it was the <laughs> same fucking president now that everybody's fucking jerking off who he withheld fucking military aid from. He got fucking impeached for it. You're telling me he would have helped this guy against the Putin invasion? No fucking shot. Hold on, this isn't fair. What do you... Hey, I have a MAGA hat that everybody can fucking see, and your shit is fucking invisible. Well, it's cold. It's chilly. Okay, put it... I'm getting shot. Okay, my BLM? Yeah, get it nice and out there. There you go. All right, fine. Fine. Lauren is now a BLM protester, yeah. Love, Black Lives Matter. God, you'd make such a good SJW. You can be one of those, like, why I left the right. Because so many people oh, yeah. do the why I left why the right. Why I left the right. Yeah, why, why I left the right. Oh, you know, people do actually do the why I left the right. In the right-wing version, they call it, you know, how I fell down the alt-right pipeline or something. Gross, they and they don't, take any, they don't take any personal responsibility for any of their ideas and blame it all on random videos they watched on the internet. Like, they have no you know, uh, ability to use their own brains. Don't we make videos on the internet? Don't we want them to be influential? Is that the whole point of our fucking job? Sure, but you shouldn't just watch one video on the internet and be like, yes, that's my entire ideology, what that person said. It's like that, um, we were talking about it, the Caleb article, uh, why I left the alt-right or something, and he just ended up falling down the far left pipeline watching a bunch of ContraPoints videos. That's, this whole thing is just like a personal vendetta. You've even said this before. Wow. Half of these people, they watch two minutes of alt-right videos and they're radicalized, and then they watch two minutes of alt-left videos and they're radicalized that direction. I never said that. You've said something like that. The other way, that's not radicalized. That's based. based <laughs> yeah, you like the building. socialist communists? Yeah, I love socialism and communism. <laughs> Only when it helps white people, though. I'm a part of the third position. That's what they call us. Do you know what that the is? The third position. Yeah. You're a third positionist? Aren't you one of the founders? I think I'm taller than you, actually. Absolutely. Unironically. Nice, try, nice fake news. Wouldn't be the first time. One of them is an objective and enjoyable person. One of them is insufferable, insufferable and aggravating. Guess who is who? Well, you missed. I folks, actually so don't know. I, I actually, there's a flip a coin chance, depending. Uh -huh. Since it's my audience, I'll guess you. Know, uh, <laughs> people are getting angry walking past me. Okay. <laughs> I heard the anger. I feel like they went this this fucking head. I feel persecuted, man. I start to know what Trump people feel like. Everybody's at last. At I, I genuinely. Oh my God. There's a part of me that's like, I hope some guy like steals your hat. Yeah. Throws a brick, but not actually, but misses and you're fine. But then you finally understand oppression. Lauren has gone woke. Absolutely. Love the, oh yeah. I think um, we had a rule where if someone comes up to you to talk about your shirt or your hat, you have to hold the position and act as though you actually believe in it. Really? Otherwise, um, otherwise I have to give like a hundred bucks to the SPLC, which I, w I will hold that position. Or he we have to find, what What should I get? Oh, you have to give like a hundred bucks to the NRA, right? If I, if I break character? If you break character, if someone comes up to you. Did y'all lose a bet? Yeah, I lost the bet of life. Oh, I lost the bet of life, and now I have to live stream and make YouTube videos for the rest of my existence. Oh. What a hard life. I know, it's it's I feel so bad for you. Truly oh, persecuted. It was so hard to get into the country. Have you not heard? Have you not heard how difficult Twitch streamers have it? Twitch streaming is another world. You wouldn't you wouldn't survive here for two days, okay? Are you diamond yet? No. Remember, hey, what was our talk? Is our safe word? <laughs> we don't talk about that here, okay? Someone just said somehow Lauren's chat is more hateful towards Lauren than Destiny's chat. They're pretty upset that I'm hanging out with you. Good, I should be. I'm glad. When you walk around DC, Planned do you feel events. like the culture changed? Nobody's walking around with their white powdered wigs anymore. 
<laughs> uh, where are we going? They're not even read eating French bread. <laughs> it's awful. What is about to go down, convoy? Yeah, I was thinking that some were arriving today, but apparently they're not arriving until the 5th. How do you feel about the U.S. Freedom Convoy? Um, you know, it's probably going to be cringe like the Canadian one. Cringe? Yeah. I remember you were so excited. You were reading it on the phone. You're like, oh my god, they already have it. It was like 20 trucks. It was 250. <laughs> Excuse me. To half of them I think are they're in like, like middle Ford, America F-150, right now. Chevy Silverados. That's a lot of trucks. And a lot more people join when they get closer. Although, um, do you guys think it's going to cause like some sort of riot or ruckus in D.C. in the American end? Because it was really peaceful on the Canadian one. Wow, really? Of course, Trudeau just lost his mind anyway, but... Man. That's you? so crazy that he would, like, get so upset about people causing hundreds of millions of dollars of economic damage instead of just showing up the polls and voting in new leaders, huh? Like, what a cuck. Who cares? It's just, like, jobs and money and shit, right? Oh, yeah. Because he cares so much about the economy that he just shut it down for two years. Oh, That's yeah. what he because cares about. Shutting the economy down because of the virus is killing thousands of people a day is the same as honky boys. Thousands of getting people Getting ass mad that their fucking mask mandates are too strict for them. If you had to live in BC or in a Canadian part of the country... I would kill myself. Absolutely. But only because I'd be surrounded by other Canadians. We didn't even... Okay. Obesity is one of the highest comorbidities with COVID, and we had gyms closed for like two years. That's nuts. Oh, yeah, because gyms are combating obesity all over Canada. Oh, yeah, you're right. Gyms are not combating obesity. Correct. Lauren LARPing as a libtard. Am I a libtard? You're a retard. I don't know if you're a libtard, but... Can you say that on YouTube? You know the only reason I got into America? Actually, no, I I can't tell that. I'll wait wait for the show tonight, and then I'll tell you guys that story. Wait, show? You want a show tonight? show tonight which show i'm so famous i'm such a big deal well, i'm gonna Shit. show let's just say the only reason she got him was because of multiculturalism okay based multiculturalism based multiculturalism. now people don't get it immigrants are so right-wing yep too bad you guys are too racist to accept them <laughs> don't worry it's slowly changing in the u.s <laughs> As we probably get to see the power of the Hispanic vote, they're slowly warming up to the idea that maybe their coalition of voters could be a little bit more brown. Lo- Lauren slowly turning into a lefty. I'm catching left wing from being near him. <laughs> Wait, how's, how's the Mr. Girl arc going? Is that still happening right yeah, now? it's always happening. He's going after Dr. K right now on Twitch. Why, you got a problem with Mr. Girl? You want to shit talk oh, him Someone right just now? mentioned him in the chat. Yeah, okay. Someone in my chat said her chat keeps calling Destiny a pedo. Is that they true? They do, they Why? do. Well, it's mostly, like, it's mostly walking, Brittany. Oh, it's just Brittany spamming it's it It's the pedo over. sympathizer thing. Wow. Because you think that we should have legal pedophile porn so that they don't offend. Gotcha. That sounds big. Even though there's no proof that it I works. Love, what can I say? I'm a huge fan of anime, you know? <laughs> what am I going to do, man? Disrespect my roots? Okay, don't worry, you guys. If you're, if you're disturbed by this content, I have a normal video coming out in a few hours as a palate cleanser. Oh, yeah, make sure to click through the... Uh, First five seconds of it, very important, okay? Lauren, weren't you just talking about earlier about how huge of a problem identity theft is across the United States and Canada? What? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus, come on. Are we walking in a circle? No, can you not? This go? is gross, unsubbed. Just go I understand. Here. Honestly, that's okay. I understand. You should make a second channel. Call it Lauren North. That's where you film your Liptar content. That's Someone wants to know. Concept. Who is the bigger hero, George Floyd or Kyle Rittenhouse? That's what a weird question. I don't think that George Floyd is a fucking hero. I don't know if I would say Kyle Rittenhouse is a fucking hero. You don't think killing violent pedophiles is a heroic move? First of all, only one of them had sexual assault charges, number one. (laughs) Only one. Number two, no, I don't think gunning anyone down in the street makes you heroic. Ask Destiny how Joe Rogan created the pandemic. Well, you see, he just the, all the, the cumulative anger that he. Well, hold on. Okay, yeah. Let's show again. What do you think of Joe, What do you think of the whole Joe Rogan stuff going on right now? Um. Well, you know, <laughs> like people like trying to like pull their shit on Spotify and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It's a hard world. That's capitalism. Just capitalism. Lauren is mommy today, holding our hand across the street. Oh. <laughs> all right, we'll go with it. That's all right, guys. Um, no, I, do, I don't know what... I, I, are you allowed to say before you go on the show? 
I don't know if it's supposed to be a surprise. Maybe not. Here's the problem with Destiny. He debates all of these retards. And Crazy he, like, that every right winger that comes on just happens no, but, to be. No, you specifically choose people. I don't. That are like not going to represent the issues well. You don't do like if you debated John Doyle, I think you'd have way more trouble than usual. Bring Look him at on then. okay, wait, wait, wait. Look at when you also, debate. Also, hold on, that's not what you said before <laughs> for why they don't come on. But okay. Look at when you debate someone like Sean, Sean Fitzgerald. Yeah, Even your own chat, like I looked when you did that coronavirus debate. What, where was it? Was it better yeah, discourse but the or problem something? Is that your own chat were like. You can tell Destiny was less enthusiastic about no, this. because when I debate people that are actually, the more intelligent they are, the closer to my position they are. That's why when I debate somebody like Sean, my chat gets mad at me and they're like, wow, Destiny, you cucked out your incentive. But his chat gets mad at him. They're like, oh, why? Why did you agree with Destiny so much? The, generally, the more intelligent you are, the less extremely fucking retarded you're going to be in terms, in terms of conservative positions. So Sean will agree like, oh, yeah, the pandemic is horrible. Some amount of like mandates is probably important, blah, blah, blah. But the left probably lied about some shit or went too far. Like, Which I'll agree with, too. That's like, okay, that's so a reasonable Okay, so you agree there's position. been a lot of fake news around COVID. There's been a lot of exaggeration. There has been, and, when and you talk to conservatives, that has been unnecessary. you have to assume that conservatives have a level zero IQ engagement with oh, anything you say. Oh so yes, the left needs to be more careful in their messaging because information can change and the people on the right that engage with your ideas have zero concept of like trying to do so in a critical manner. So yes, the left did fuck up the messaging a lot. Okay, I agree with that. Only on the right. Or do you meet thousands of left wingers every day that do the same thing as stupid people on the yeah left wing people are retarded too but we're talking we about go. coronavirus stuff right now which do we have to cross here um, oh i think i see it yeah listen i don't know anything about i see the white house guys i don't know if that's the capital i don't know if biden lives in there biden biden that lives in there the he lives in the very top of the white house they're actually in the statue that's yeah, where they oh keep him God, that's, base, that's where they keep him frozen oh yeah and have his body <laughs> double out to do the speeches the yeah we might run into Biden today, guys. I want to find our next president, Kamala Harris, actually. Let's see if she's walking around today. I did make a bet that she'd be president in two years, so. Oh, yeah? That was a joke I, I made. She's, she's a... not the next president. She's the current president, right, Lauren? Absolutely. Yeah. Ask Destiny if he has an internal monologue. Yeah, of course. You do, right? <laughs> no, I just think in binary code. Ah, but, well, some people think in, like, pictures or whatever. Well, they actually found out that was a thing. I. I don't no know what shit, ages that's what the guy's ago. asking about. That's what internal monologue means. Like, do you have like an inner voice or? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. But no, I think it was th they found out that some people don't can't see images in their head. Like they can't imagine an apple. They just oh, imagine yeah, yeah. like the code, like apple equals oh, red. Those people are just fucked mentally. Right? And they found it out because an artist got in a car crash, and then afterwards he couldn't imagine things anymore. And then they did a bunch of like psych tests on him. Cringe. I swear I'm not making this up. Google it. All right, guys. That's great. You're a science reporter now, too. I'm a, I am a scientist. I'm a geopolitics expert. I'm a war reporter. And now I'm the president. Oh, I'm yeah, just going to bring any more foreign policy snipers here. To, more foreign to policy snipers. So. <laughs> yeah. Destiny got ratioed at IRL. We were arguing earlier. And some guy jumped in and was like, she's correct. Actual Kremlin propaganda has reached the random people in West Virginia. You guys believe this shit? This guy's like, the 2014 coup was American stage. Okay, bro. Oh shit, Lauren is the next BX bullet. When does she become a horse? Are you the next When BX do I bullet? become a horse? Oh yeah, how much ivermectin are you taking to prevent COVID-19? Every day, I'm, I'm yeah. taking Giga Vax, Giga Ivermectin. She almost didn't make you it to have uh, a security because her bag full of hydroxychloroquine <laughs> fell out of her fucking purse. <laughs> But she was coming through the line. No, I just gave some to the security guards and oh, they were yeah. like sick. Like Come right through. There are doctors that are prescribing it though. There are doctors that'll fucking like touch your day. I don't know. What do you mean? There's like a million doctors that'll do a million things. Why, why would that be your So we shouldn't. Like, we should. I, that's not an argument. I'm just saying that's happening. No, hold on. Yeah. Wait, wait. Don't say. Yeah. Calm down. I didn't trip you. Don't act just, like it. Okay. <laughs> Don't say I'm just saying. You're not just saying. You're implying. There's I'm saying implication. there are doctors that have prescribed it. Yeah, to but people. you're trying to make it sound like there's some credibility because well, if a doctor Wait, prescribes if, it, at what point? Hurt. If I just said that statement, which you agree with, you are choosing to believe that there's something more to that, so you can debate me because no, you're I'm obsessed choosing. with disagreeing I'm just with a people. Human being that understands there's implications behind things that are being said. So we can't say things that are true because there might be an implication behind it. If a guy walks up to you randomly on the street, he's like, "Hey, I'm sleeping alone tonight." Are you just like, wow, that's a really cool factoid, or do you think the guy is like hitting on you or something? Exactly. See, there's more that's being implied when you say shit. So, okay, so how how could I how could I say 
there are doctors prescribing ivermectin without there being an implication that triggers you. Because you brought that up as a counterpoint to me saying that ivermectin is a, it, to me making fun of people that prescribe ivermectin as a treatment for COVID-19. It wasn't a counterpoint. I was just then saying, why did like, you, you I was just saying randomly, that's a thing that happens. You were like digging through of that, all that's the things thing in Lauren's that happens. mind, you know, hey, here's a thing that happens. Let me just put this out into the universe. So, see how no, it okay. so what I'm saying is me. you are mocking people who take it. Yes, I am. And, I mean, if you're if you're going out and like buying it from the pet store and taking it, no, like, I would I, mock people that get it prescribed but, to them. I would mock no, no, doctors what, that prescribe what if, it. What if their doctor prescribed it to them and said they believe their doctor, they trust their doctor, they're like, I trust the science, what my doctor tells me. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, you're gonna mock, mock that person. I'd mock the doctor then. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Any other random statements you want to share with the world today? Anything bouncing around inside that? So, conservative mind of yours. Did you know that 50% of the crime? <laughs> oh yeah, wow, we're going committed there. by careful. You got the BLM shirt on, you're breaking character. Oh true. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Wait, what? can we bet something? You figure out what I owe you, okay, but you, oh my god. I need to win this bet. I'm okay, you have to ask Tim tonight, okay? What was the worst prediction? Hassan saying that there was gonna be no invasion for days and days and days in a row. Or Tim Pool saying it was going to be a 49 50 state landslide for Donald Trump. <laughs> I need you to ask this on the show, please, God. I am not going to ask please. that on the show. There's got to be something we could bet for this. You know, what's what's the worst prediction you've made that came out completely wrong? I don't make any wrong? bad predictions, ever. Never. I'm basically. No one, all right, chat, I want you to go scour through all of Destiny's videos and find his worst predictions. Okay, the worst right prediction now. was over the You know what your worst days, prediction is? I said I was your worst be dying prediction okay. is uh, the Alec Baldwin stuff. You, you, you just wait. You just wait for that. You just wait for the family lawsuit. Vindicated with every, oh my no, God. you are such a sophist You're with so that. Dumb. Well, the family's pressing charges. Yeah, no shit, they're filing a lawsuit. They're trying to get money out of a fucking actor. How is that evidence for anything? If somebody's filing a lawsuit. Okay, I, want, I, I want you guys to think about this. Anything I want. So, like, remember that ivermectin conversation we just had? And I said, you know, there are some individual doctors that will prescribe ivermectin. And he's like, all right, I'll mock those people. They're ridiculous. When we had our debate on Alec Baldwin, I was like, most of the... It, the majority of the large set standards, the actors uh, guild, all these unions, they say this is what you do for prop safety. And your response was, but what does the individual set what say? What does that set do? What are their standards? Yeah, because there was it's not standardized across the entire industry. Right, but for some reason, if an individual doctor does something that you think is stupid and aside from standards, you'll mock them and you'll mock people that's who listen totally to them. That's a different thing. But it's if an individual set does something getting, that's I, counter you're, you're just so to wrong. the you're guild actually, guidelines and the normal guidelines, that's that's fine. That's wrong. fine that they do that because that means you win the argument. You're so unbelievably wrong. Wait. Oh, are we crossing here? So, no, I think. Mm. Okay, there's a crossing over here. This stream is hilarious. Well, I'm glad I, I had a bunch of people earlier. They're like, I am unsubbing. This is disgusting that you're in the presence of a libtard. <laughs> I'm glad someone's enjoying it. <laughs> oh, yes! Someone just. No, you should talk to him! He's obsessed with Donald Trump and it's disgusting. You really need to talk to him. <laughs> no, we're just... Wait, what does that say? It, it says make America great again, okay? Oh, is this the whole point? Like a no, he genuinely is like a hardcore Trump supporter. It's He just said the election was no, two I'm years ago, you fuck. Yeah, it was two <laughs> years ago, okay? And I'm still upset about it. I have a right to be upset, okay? <laughs> Lip hearts cried when fucking Donald Trump won, okay? For how long? Look at, can you imagine, do you understand the oppression that Trump supporters go through every day? Yeah, it must be having so to have hard. the- Oh, there's a protest going on! Yes! Yes! And I think it's a lefty it's protest in Destiny's in it. It's not like Canada. You guys run around and fucking throw Tim Hortons at each other. So good. Yellow can you see them? You have such bad eyesight. It's I know, shocking. I see a bunch of yellow people. How do you know that's a protest? It looks like a protest. It might be a bumblebee celebration. A bumblebee right? celebration? Yeah, you, you don't know it's a protest. Okay, well, do you guys know what all these yellow people are on about? No, okay, don't say that. It's people wearing yellow stuff. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, okay? I mean, the people in yellow, not the yellow people, all right? Relax. See, this is what I mean. You hear, you hear racism. I'm, I'm, just, you hear, okay. I'm trying to protect your channel right now, okay? I'm being, yes, selfless. What was the name of that high school kid that they fucked? CNN did? What? There was the um, there were like the native protesters and the high school kids, and then they, it was like Caleb oh, K or um, something. Am I making that up, or what was it? No, 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 no. Not no. Caleb is the New York Times guy. Oh, he's the New York Times guy. Um, guy, chat. Who was the kid that uh, 
had everyone call him racist at that indigenous yeah, protest. Yeah, because they like published the footage in a misleading. Nick Sandman? Nick Sandman, yeah. Yeah, that one. You must have been so excited for that story, right? Wow, the mainstream media. So fake and evil. It was fake. Oh and it was God. evil. They were trying yeah, to ruin the life of a child and he won that lawsuit. God, so I, I don't like know you why you're mocking that. Like 200 fucking times that day. You were so fucking excited for that. Are you not? Are you not excited when people are held accountable for trying to ruin the life of a child? Yeah, but I get excited when people on both sides are held accountable, not just selectively. Oh, it sounds like, it sounds like you're mocking out, you know? the idea of CNN being held accountable. No, I actually like the idea of CNN being held accountable. I wish you had the same view of OAN or Fox So why, are you, why are you bringing up like what about isms when that was randomly brought up by you? Well, because the whole conversation is a whataboutism. Because I'm just, I'm just putting my thoughts out there. You're the one that's trying to get into a whataboutism. I just wanted to share a random thought. That this was is called gaslighting. This is called gaslighting IRL, guys. Look out for it. I don't know why you're reading so much into it. Are you upset that we're headed in this direction? Why would I be upset? This is where the steps of my great brothers and sisters marched. For the first time in my life, I feel extremely comfortable in a BLM shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling very safe right now. What, do you normally feel unsafe? Making sure that it's getting oh, oh, it's If being me? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, well, maybe that's your fault, Warren. Maybe you should take some personal responsibility there. Yeah, take personal responsibility for the people that attack you for your political opinions. That's Anytime right. Been attacked I hope you experienced this IRL. Warren, okay? Let's see. Where have you been? Where are the bullet wounds? Where are the knife this wounds? This video. But yeah. Uh -huh. Lauren, let Destiny get some testosterone. He's running on empty. Fifty dollars. <laughs> Thanks, Destiny. Fifty dollars. Thanks, dude. You're giving me that money, right? Uh, only. Uh, actually, no. You'll be giving me money TRT. if you break character here in five minutes. Have you ever seen Destiny and Sam Cedar in the same room? Coincidence? Holy shit. Well, yeah, actually, we debated once, so that guy's wrong. Okay. Oh, God, actually, this might be a terrible idea. Why? You don't even know what they're debating? They're no, I don't know what they're doing. Protesting. Do they have, like, mice on their... Nice. What is nice about? <laughs> mice. You said I'm mice. the one with the problem seeing. Reforma. Oh, if they were like the Canadian truckers, they'd be pissing and shitting all over the monument. But I guess here in America, we have a little bit more respect. There's no evidence of who did that. Oh, no, yellow snow is normal, Lauren. Didn't, <laughs> is that what you learned growing up? Oh, it's progress for migrant workers. This is a great place for you to be right now. Great day out. So I'm kind of cheating here. I've got my shirt a bit covered. So they've got it all closed off right now because of the trucker thing happening on the fifth. Holy shit, they really closed it up. Or are they just doing construction up there? Am I crazy? Why don't you climb that fence? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna climb the fence and figure out. Oh yeah, they've got like the media here getting footage of the fences right now barricades this is what you do for the most popular president in history guys you have to be scared of your constituents oh yeah didn't you get the most votes of any president? the most votes oh, of anyone in history and that's why they need to board that. this up because the people just love him so much that they want to get in there to give him a hug and conservatives must be real crazy if he's that popular he's so worried about him. okay well let's go talk to the protesters then no, i don't know <laughs> you, you were the one who just suggested it and now that i'm no. agreeing with you you're like uh, uh, that I don't was know. a joke oh. They don't, they don't look like they want to talk to anybody. They look like they're doing their yeah, thing. I think they want to talk to you. I think you got a great look for talking to protesters. Why? <sighs> don't look at me. Why? I don't. Put your camera on yourself. I don't consent. <laughs> no means no. Hey. Hi. Could I just ask you about the event today? Sure. Can I ask where you're from or what? Oh, I'm just I'm just live streaming. Are you okay with going on live stream? As an as an individual. Yeah, I'm just as an individual. Oh, I'm not from a publication. Sure. Is that okay? Yes. So what is the event today? So today, um, our group, New Immigrant Community Empowerment NICE, which is a community organization and worker center based in Queens, New York. We're here in Washington, D.C. to fight for citizenship for all. And we were earlier today at a rally outside of the White House uh, called the People's State of the Union mm -hmm. to highlight what President Biden and his administration have not yet done, especially around immigration reform and also around climate and health care for all. Uh, what has Biden not done yet around immigration reform? 
So he what promised. Were the main points? He promised that he would pass citizenship for all. That was one of his main campaign promises that led a lot of the Latino population to vote for him and to organize for him to win. And this comes on the history of many decades of Democratic presidents promising immigration reform or citizenship in their campaigns and then not completing that once they're in office. Yeah. It's been 35 years since the last immigration reform and the community is ready, needs the citizenship for all, especially after this pandemic when so many people were working as essential workers, didn't have access to health care or benefits or any protections that they needed. So it's kind of a consistent bait and switch from the Democrat Party that they do. And is there, um, like, do you have anyone that's offering, like, a policy change, or what, is it just kind of to get some news around it, some pressure? So in the Build Back Better package, um, the, there was going to be a piece about immigration reform, which we, was referred to as Plan C. It wasn't what we wanted. It, originally, there was a plan for citizenship, and then that turned into a plan for temporary work permits. Um, mm -hmm. But that, right now, from what I understand, they're still sort of starting from scratch again with the Build Back Better package. And so what we're asking for is for them to either update the registry, which would basically update um, the um, the um, the year at which people could become citizens, yeah. or to add, find another way to do a pathway to citizenship. Yeah. Now, I love what you guys are doing. Would you be willing to talk to my friend, who is a Trump supporter, that I've been trying to, you know, bring over to the, the good team? Right now, and the reason is we actually have a reporter here who we're working with, and we have to we have to start talking to him. But thank you oh, so much. Oh, no worries. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thanks a lot. Good luck with your stuff. Thank you. Damn, I really wanted to... I was about to just start screaming at her, man. Why didn't you defend Biden? Why? Oh, true. Well, you, you know, to Biden, the problem is that we need... Bur the problem is we need Bernie, not Biden, right? No, what? Biden is actually a conservative. No, shut really the fuck up. Policy. We're not doing a commie shit. You're supposed to defend Biden, okay? I'm wearing a BLM shirt. You think I'm going to defend Biden? Yes. In my BLM shirt? Sure. Most BLM supporters probably support Biden. Do you, Remember? Do you, okay, you chat. Do you hey, think most... If you don't most... vote for Biden, you ain't black, okay? He's absolutely BLM people. I really, that's a Biden quote. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, okay? People that voted for him probably wear BLM shirts. From what I understand, if I most ever... BLM people, like these people, feel the Biden administration has betrayed them. Done a little bait and switch. Get the minority vote. Switch. The problem is that their issue is not electorally popular enough to put in front of the American people right now. When we have a massive fucking economic issue that is destroying the economy. That's the Do issue it. right now. I went in there. I held character. I told them I love what they're doing. You, you Great like, stuff. Oh, I agreed with everything they said. said. Oh, do you feel like Biden did a bait and switch on you? Uh. She agreed. I went yeah, in there you were with a pro-immigrant group, and I agreed with everything you they said. You're just upset the that they actually hate Lord Biden. Southern. You were just taking the opportunity to shit on Democrats. It's not my fault that everyone hates Biden. It's not everyone. You Even BLM supporters. Wait, hold on. Who got the most votes in the history of the United States? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Most That's popular right. president That's ever, exactly guys. Right. That's right. Get fucking mad, okay? Stay mad. They all love him so much, they have to gate up the place because everyone just wants to give him hugs so bad. Okay, guys, Destiny just broke into the Capitol with me. We did it. <laughs> we did it. I really hope they arrest him. This is incredible. They were pretty upset about us playing League together. I mean, did you see how much you were fucking feeding? I don't think that's why they were upset. I'd be upset too. <laughs> Sounds like she is getting red pilled from policy failure, said someone. I feel my chat is like super behind. Immigrants Horribly are always behind. upset because in order to actually change stuff, you literally need comprehensive like immigration reform. That's already an incredibly divisive issue. With 50 Democrats in the Senate, there's no fucking shot you're getting any of that Wait, anytime soon. I'm sorry, I feel like you just posted a liberal meme at me. That was like way too much text. Can you start from the top? If you don't understand policy, just tell me, okay? I wasn't even listening. I'm it was sorry, just like, it's words. like that girl in the bar who's like, uh, and the guy's just in her ear like, oh, there's like you're, 50 blah, 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 blah. You're a conservative woman. You just want a guy to like explain everything to you in the simplest words possible. Oh, that's the one. That's okay. All right. Stop tokenizing. To help. Stop tokenizing not my country. Enough issue, okay, Lauren. Sorry. Issue not popular enough. President can't help. What issue isn't popular enough? The immigration stuff. Immigration. You don't think it's a popular enough Absolutely issue? Absolutely not. Not right now. Nobody gives a fuck about it. The economy is number one. BLM no longer exists. So true. They disappeared as soon as as soon as Officer Chauvin actually went to jail. Everything that they were screaming about and complaining about disappeared. Wasn't that good? They campaigned in a way for a certain issue. They no, like they got it wasn't because they. So he went to jail, uh -huh. and the whole time they were screaming that that's what doesn't happen. Cops never get, you know, they never go to jail. They always just go. They say they're white, and then they're instantly let go. And then it happened. And if they had just waited long enough, 
may be. What if they didn't make a big issue about it and he would have got? Well, if job? someone got charged because there were protests, then that seems like a uh, that someone seems like a broken because there were protests. because there were protests about how he should be. That feels like an unfair court system, doesn't it? <laughs> Welcome to the United States yeah, of true. America. True. Yeah, that's kind of the point. You know, they actually gave me a press pass in 2016. To get into the White House? Yeah. And Spicer pointed to me and asked me a question, and I was too nervous, so I spaghettied, and then the person beside me asked it instead. Damn. It was awful. The Spice Man himself. I know. Fumbled the bag. That could have been your moment, back into the limelight. I was a bit too much in the limelight in 2016. <laughs> yeah? I was... <laughs> Can you say Obamina? Oh. Obamina. Thanks, my chat needed that. How do you feel about David Pacman? Have you guys ever talked before? What about, look at all these fancy cars. Uh, I have not talked to the Pacman. Why not? I don't know. He's never asked me on his stream. Have you ever asked him to go on his stream? Nope. He seems... I don't know. I'm, I've never been too interested in his content. Oh yeah, because you only watch stuff that agrees with you, right? No, I actually, you know what? I, I genuinely watch more left-wing content than right-wing content right now. Uh -huh. Oh, right now, I'm sure you do. Right now. They're all shitting on Biden. <laughs> that too. But, um, you know, I've, like, if I watch a right-wing, I've, I've mentioned this on, to you guys on stream before, but if I watch a right-wing channel, like, I, I, I can just see the title of the video and know exactly what they're going to say. Oh, cool. Whereas That's if like I watch... every single person that does politics on the internet right now. Well, <laughs> basically. But if I watch left-wing stuff, I actually hear kind of different... Even I, I won't agree with them, but I'll still hear different takes that I can kind of go over like in my brain. A barbecue or smoke or something? Am I crazy? No, it does smell like barbecue. There's like... This place is just crawling with journalists, guys. Yeah, well, it's There's like a journalist see. every corner. How many think? pictures? How many pictures of the White House do you need? You've been here more than me, right? <laughs> you'd think you'd think every single news outlet here would have seven thousand pictures of the White House. It's not like it's changing or anything. They're not. They're, they're not updated. Oh, I guess the flag. Fine. Yeah, maybe they're going to like a new LGBTQ but light still... display or something. They want to show it off. Are we going to get charged if I go on the steps over here? I don't know. Just don't. <laughs> Listen, if you get deported, it's your life, okay? <laughs> don't take your hat off. I'm, I'm still off. wearing my shirt. <laughs> yes. I don't have a choice. You can take your shirt off if you want, okay? A man of equal opportunities. And someone said, ha have Destiny call Mr. Girl. He's crying. That's a meme, Twitch meme. You should know this by now, but okay. Is Mr. Girl okay? People always say, like, call X, they're crying. Oh. It's like a joke. God, you're so bad, Jess. I, like, just figured out... What? <laughs> I going. just figured out what, like, Poggers was, like, a month ago. Yeah? I'm slowly figuring it out. If you need me to use them, like, in political examples, I can help you. It, like, makes more sense, you know? What? <laughs> So you can understand the emotes. Oh. Like, oh my god, like a million immigrants just got turned back at the border. Poggers. Like that would be like how people would like you would use poggers, you know? Yeah, I think didn't the guy I, I got a bit my sister was trying to explain the lore to me of poggers. Didn't the guy who started it get banned off Twitch? He didn't get for banned. For being right wing? They typical. No, first of all, that's fake news, okay? Not that I would expect anything better. Number one. Number two, um, he they just they removed the global emote because he was saying some crazy shit on Twitter. So they did remove him because he was saying things that were right wing. They removed the global emote. So they removed an emote because he was saying things that were right wing. Yeah, it was it was pretty dumb. I'm not gonna defend it, are you? Sweet. What? <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> what say? You can't laugh that much and not share it with us. <laughs> Okay, they're, they're like, she's never been to the White House because they're just at that part, and I don't think I have. Oh, wait, you don't I think this is the White House, do you? <laughs> it's oh, a White House. that's why, oh shit, okay, hold on, that's why you were confused earlier. Listen, there's two different buildings, <laughs> I, okay? I'm not a Dude, you really argue with me about January 6th as much? You think they're the same fucking building? <laughs> I actually hate you so much. I actually fucking hate you. Okay. The White House is where the president lives. Right? And there's press in there and other shit. This is called Capitol <laughs> Hall or the Capitol Building. This is where Congress oh, but is. It's, it's a White House. Okay, but there's a lot of White Houses here. Oh my god. I'm Canadian. That's okay. my excuse. I really have no excuse. But okay, there, so there is no a, excuse. There is for like that. the White House here. It's like 1800 Pennsylvania Avenue or whatever. I remember this one Disney movie or something like that. I feel like if I go to Biden's home, that'll be bad. I don't. It's you're allowed. No, you're not American. Or I was gonna say we're married. We go anywhere we want. But you should be able to like walk outside. You can't. You probably can't go inside. But or sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue. Okay, we'll go to the White House. Okay, sure, hold on. I'll find. I get to find out where the White House is. This is exciting. Yeah. Now the next time you have a debate. Holy shit, guys! This is like a two-mile walk. I thought you guys said it was like two streets over. I, I can't even remember where. 
car is parked. Did you know if you get a ticket in a different country, you don't have to pay it, guys? I feel like that's probably not good legal advice. <laughs> probably not always true. As long as you don't go back to the country, you're okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, so there's there, a few countries that's I can't. Probably true. You thought you thought I was banned from countries for my politics. <laughs> it's actually just a plethora of unpaid Lawrence Southern parking tickets. <laughs> Venti, I wish I wish you could join us somehow. God, that would be that would be amazing content. Ass, like watching your stream, like, I wish I was there. I wish I had friends. Brittany is amazing. How, she lives in Texas. I love Why is she hanging out with people? What she what does she do with her life? So I shit post on Twitter about how much of a lonely fucking loser. It was just Brittany's is. birthday. Can you say happy birthday it's to Brittany? Br happy it birthday, Brittany. What is she? Nineteen today? Twenty? She just turned sixteen. Oh Jesus! I'm surprised she's not a wash fan. <laughs> Go hang out in his chat. You get a lot of attention. Now. I'm just kidding, Vosh. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't say that because he was. Fuck. He liked one of my tweets recently. I think he's coming Who did? back. He's coming back to the Vosh. Fold. You're getting Vosh back. You want Vosh back in your fold? Well, debating is good content. And that's, do you I think mean, it's just a coincidence that you create all these monsters, or do you think it might have something to do no, with you? I told you. you, I have that effect. On just, like, okay, just for my for crazy, my chat, like the lore is, De Destiny was the original left-wing debate bro some of you have probably seen that's like, not your chat's lore that is the objective history of the world okay? the objective history of the world the yeah debate. so you've probably seen like old old debates with us where it would have been pretty okay yeah, yeah. i don't want to talk about those debates yeah, but um here's two right uh okay yeah so he did a lot of the old debate bro stuff and he was the progenitor Vosh and Hassan and all of these horrible lefties online are his children he created them exactly. and then they abandoned him and went wild with they're my Frankensteins. Power. I His Frankensteins. Frankenstein. Yeah. And I don't think, like, do you think that it's just not a coincidence that that happened and it might be a you problem? I don't think it's a problem. I just, some people internalize all the hatred and stupidity. I Shit. externalize it into other people and I send them off with it into the world. It, they're like my, they're like my Voldemort Horcruxes, you know? <laughs> I just split my soul True. and I give them all the evil and stupidity and ignorance, yeah. Oh God, you still have like, what, seven Horcruxes to make? <laughs> Well, let's see. Voldemort had seven, right? So one is Hassan, one is Vosh. What if my Horcruxes make Horcruxes? Because if so, Xander Hall is probably one of mine as well. Demon Mama would be four. Okay. So, the rest? I'm sure there's okay. three more. I can't tell you all of them. That defeats the whole point of having Horcruxes. Okay. Did you read the books? So I've like worked my way through one of your Horcruxes by defeating Xander Hall in a debate. Now what I just need to debate. What debate about? Uh, we debated my book. What? We, we debated... <laughs> Hey, that's no, no, wait, shut, shut, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> that was not Bernie Sanders. Wait, shut up. What did you say? What were you talking about? Oh, what did you debate Sandra Hall about? Uh, we debated about my book. Oh, um, <laughs> the one that he hadn't fucking read? Yeah, the one he hadn't read. Why I sent him a copy. He asked me to debate oh, my book. My God. Then I sent him a copy, and then he had no arguments because he realized it wasn't a bad book. Yeah, I think he, he like, took a really strong position. I think it was before it was even published. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was great. So I, I destroyed one of your Horcruxes. Now I just, Bosch said he won't debate me. Why not? That's a great question. You'd think, um, I don't know, you'd think, I think you've made this point before. It would be easy content if he thinks I'm it so stupid. It absolutely would, and you have a fan base and everything. Apparently my fan base, so. Yeah, so I Bosch tries, won't debate no, me. No, Bosch, somebody is legitimately, like, somebody messaged me, I'll probably debate him. Bosch legitimately will avoid challenging debates. He only goes for the lowest hanging fruit, or the people he thinks he can get the most clout off of. Yeah, so your Horcruxes won't debate you. So you can't destroy your own Horcruxes. Maybe that's a self-preservation thing. Yeah, or you, you can't destroy them either. Yeah, because so it keeps I, them all nice and alive. Um, Hassan is my most successful Horcrux. He won't debate anybody. <laughs> He's the most insulated motherfucker in the world. Well, I think Christian Walker almost destroyed that Horcrux. Almost, okay? Hassan messed up. He bought that mansion and all that security to keep people like him out. I don't know how he fucked that one up, but... Someone's very upset with me. You have 700k subs, and you've only got 1,700 live to watch this. And you squander this time with this meaninglessness. Jesus. Um, YouTube subscribers don't always like translate to viewership well. Like PewDiePie no. streams, and I think he was getting like 15 or 20,000 viewers, which is a lot for a live stream, but he has like, what, like 100 million subs? Yeah. It's gone, like, definitely with political channels, they just won't put it in recommended anymore. Oh also, what they God. do. What? They absolutely will. You just have to do your titles correct. No, no, no. So what they've done with a lot of it, and I know this because they've reached out to me for this, is well, most of the, the CEO, she's the, like, hey, Susan Wojcicki reached out today? to me directly. You're a conservative. Okay, go ahead. Um, no, no, no. Like they, a lot of the suggested videos now that come after, which are the most watched. Like you're more likely to watch a video that's immediately recommended after something you watched than something in the sidebar. Um, those are mostly paid for spots now. So that's a big change that happened. 
No way. Wait, wait, since when? It's pretty, re like, so, like, w what happens a lot now when I watch videos, it's, a, it's all Jordan Peterson or Ben Shapiro stuff that comes after because they pay for those slots. Wait, is this true, guys? Somebody in chat verify or unverify this. Yeah. So, like, they've called me and been like, hey, do you want to put your mass grave video in these slots after? And <laughs> I, um, they didn't approve it. <laughs> But um, no, I, I've never, I've never done it myself. But they've reached out to do that. They're like, it's the only way you can grow your channel now is if you get these paid for slots. Yeah, okay, I'm calling August. Oh my god, I had the most base fan. What I had a fan saying? that was paying to run ads of my full YouTube videos on Vosh's channel. That's incredible. <laughs> I've done something like that before a while ago. Holy shit! Dude. But it caused a bit too much antagonism. Oh, no. Oh yeah, you need to get to some more spicy internet drama. Oh god, no. Your life is so boring right now. See, this is this is what I mean when you guys get terminally online and you just sit for like 10 hours a day just something. hanging out with internet people and You're then like you have all of your... Twitter. Why not start shit? Why not start shit? I, I've got enough shit that I start with you on Twitter. That's that's enough yeah, for me. Yeah, but then you try to resolve it in DMs instead of like cloud farming off of it. You're so boring. And then you message me while I'm losing it. That's because I know off. I'm about to dunk on you so hard. I don't want to embarrass you. Oh my God. That's, that's the Holy true shit. reason. Bro, you can actually get arrested in the US for bringing that much copium over the border, okay? You better watch out. <laughs> Why don't you go antagonize Lance some more? That's always funny. Oh, Pop I'd love to debate tweets. Lance. If you guys don't know, Lance is the guy I did the mass graves debate with, with counter counterpoints. Debate in a fucking quotation marks there. <laughs> debate. Um, and we were supposed to do a live debate afterwards because he's in Vancouver. Um, and he said no. So first he said he would only do a moderate moderated debate with me, or I can't remember what that, no, he would only do an unmoderated debate with me. And I said, okay, fine, we'll do that, but it has to be in person. And then he said, no, we have to do it online. So I'm like, okay, I'll do an online one with a moderator. And I recommended you as the moderator. And he said, absolutely not. What a dumb idea. So I feel like he, he only wants to do online one-on-one. -on -one, and I feel like it's because he wants to just like kick me or mute me when I'm talking on his stream or something. Wow. I can't imagine any other reason. Mike from PA. I know nothing about Mike from PA. Other than like you've had drama with oh, him. Oh fuck, does he count as a Horcrux, guys? Mike from PA is like the ultimate. He's like, he's like a sun shadow, basically. But there's a reason you've never heard of this guy. He literally starts the stream like two hours before Hassan goes live, and he always has like Hassan in the stream title, and then he goes offline. To you know what the funniest thing about this guy is? So this guy is like an ultra rabid lefty, like Wait, super. What's um? He's, he's got like the rose in his bio. Is like yeah, so, yeah, and he, no, 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 no. He's a lefty. Like he hates sock dems. He's like ultra left, like commie socialist. Oh, like okay. So he always talks about how he's like an organizer and he organizes, he's never done shit in his life. He tried to run in one election because some guy beat his mom or whatever and he got really mad that he so wanted to run. So his mom ran his mom ran. I think she was office. like a state senator or something and then he ran next time and he lost because he lied about being a lawyer and they found out. Oh my God. Um, but regardless, the, um, so this guy talks about how important unions are organizing all that shit, right? So on Twitch, they did like, um, they did like a day off Twitch, like a big strike thing, I guess, that a bunch of content creators wanted to do to get rid of hate raids and Hassan joined and Mike took the opportunity that day to stream like fucking 10 hours <laughs> as an actual fucking scab. <laughs> I thought that was very funny. I don't know. I don't understand your internet drama over there in the left wing sphere. What do you, what's not to understand? I guess I don't, I don't, what, like, what is the beef between him and Hassan? There is no beef. It was just funny that he decided to... Oh, he's to, just trying to, like, He was clout. a fucking... Do you know what a scab is? Have you heard that term before? I have. Like in a strike one of breaker. your videos, yeah. yeah. One of my videos. In one of your videos. You're, I think that was the one video I watched that you were talking about your drama with Mike. Oh, well, then you already know this. I don't, Why no, you, I don't know my... Are I don't know... Are questions to explain shit you already know to, like, make me feel better about myself? <laughs> You're treating me like a fucking retarded child. Jeez, just say that's what being that's shit. what being Don't a woman me. that's what being a woman is you ask men to explain things you already understand so they feel better your about. fucking condescension no um okay. no i don't i don't remember i watched like a really yeah, brief amount i'll do i'll watch like the first two minutes of like a video you do and then if i'm interested i'll keep watching and then if i get bored it'll just be like Make sure no. like at the end and turn on the absolutely bell. not what? what do you mean no <laughs> absolutely I not. like all of your youtube videos yeah you like every i'm gonna go every... someone fact check that yeah do it i go through it oh like, like what like. was the last youtube video of mine you watched um, fuck, what was the last one? Hold on, I'm trying to remember. Fuck! I just looked at it last night, too. I don't remember what for. I don't remember. Oh, okay, yeah. But I'm sure it wasn't. Fact-checked, IRL. Somebody in chat say it. And caught in 4K. 
Oh no, we watched you in J Reg a little bit. <laughs> That's not one of my YouTube videos. Well, you're in it, close enough. J Reg's a nice guy. Although he didn't break character for a second in real life. Maybe it's not a character then. That's concerning. <laughs> Guys, could you help convert my Trump supporter friend to stop being insane? Yes, how? Yes. Okay. Steven. Do you want to... Why, why would you support Okay, Trump? she really wants me to talk about immigration issues. Are you... I'm live streaming right now. Are you okay with that being on stream or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what should I say? Well, well, yeah, what do you want to talk about? Okay, so he thinks that there should what be do I absolutely... Wait, don't say what I think. Okay, what do you, okay? What do you think? Well, what do you guys... What are your issues here today? Actually, we came here today because uh, we are supporting, um, you know, like uh, immigration, uh, oh, sorry, you know, yeah. reform and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, like we think that because of the pandemic, we were, you know, like in front of the line, like, you know, working and all that. So we think that, you know, like we've been here for a long time and we deserve like, you know, like some kind of status or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here's just, this is like one of the concerns that I have. Um, so it seems like every time a Democrat comes in office, there's like a huge surge of people that try to come to the country. Like if you watch the people that attempt the border crossings, every time a Democrat is in office, like more people try to come. Are we worried that if we legalize everybody that's here right now, that we're incentivizing like even more people to try to come in the future? Yeah, I, I understand your point of view and maybe, 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 yeah, you can be right. I mean, I'm not gonna say, no, you're wrong and all that, blah, blah, blah. No, maybe, you know, like, that's your point of view and I have to respect that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's pretty fair. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I guess you okay, keep content. You keep supporting Trump. Keep going, okay. I guess. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys from? Uh, I'm from, I guess, Miami, technically. Yeah, I'm Canadian. But you work for, like, a channel? No, we just do our own personal live streaming. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Do you have like a YouTube channel or like an Instagram or something? I am Destiny on YouTube and Twitch and Instagram. Can I look you up? Yeah, if you want to, sure. I'm on Twitch right now. Yeah, do you mind that we're live? Oh, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, we're okay. like, yeah, doing our thing. What do you feel about his views and perspective? I don't really know what his views are because he just asked a question, so I can't really say that I know what his views are. Okay. Um, you said your name is Destiny? Yeah. It's just the word destiny. Just the Are word destiny. Oh. That's the one, yeah. Okay. The one and only. Well, technically the second because I'm my dad's the same name. So. The second. Do you, do you want to talk anything? Or? Were, were you here for the protest? Yeah, I was with Lala Mm hmm. All right. Well, get, put, your, put your views forward, Stephen. Well, so my the only issue that I have is. I agree that, so I agree with a lot of the arguments that people make regarding illegal immigrants or undocumented people in the United States, that I think it's bad that a lot of companies are incentivized to pay like below minimum wage and stuff or paying cash or under the table for uh, undocumented workers here. It just seems like if we legalize everybody, that that trend of more people coming to the United States, if they think they can get legalized at some point, could be problematic in the future is what I'd worry about. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think that's the incentive for people to come here. Uh -huh. I think America has branded itself as like the leading, you know, economic power and people believe that if they come here, they'll be able to support their families and make a better life. That's always been the incentive. Uh -huh. And I don't think legalizing, you know, everyone who's here it's gonna really change that perception. It might even it might make it stronger, like you're saying, and like. Sure. But there's always gonna be an incentive. I guess like the so I agree with that, um, and I have a lot of sympathy because my mom's side, my family is Cuban, so they came here to try to build stuff for their family. Um, I guess one of the things that I worry about is when I look around the United States, there's a lot of domestic problems that exist right now. So for instance, in DC or anywhere else, there's like a ton of homeless people and everything too. Um, and then we've got like drug problems across the Midwest. It seems like there's a lot of domestic problems, but when we're taking on like even more people that are trying to come here and build lives or whatever, if we can't even take care of our current population, I guess I kind of worry sometimes where their priority is at. Do you think if the immigrants weren't here, the government would care about the poor people in this country or the homeless people? Do you I think that I, would just, change anything? Well, it feels like there's I only... Because I feel like they already don't. 
I don't little think bit, the yeah. immigrants are causing any problems there. No, I, I don't think immigrants are causing any problems, but there's only like so much money, I guess, to go around to like certain issues or whatever. So I guess I worry that if we're spending money on immigrating people or whatever financial assistance to some people, that the people that are already here won't be able to get help that they need. I get that, but I don't think money's going there anyway. I think the majority of the money in our economy goes to the military, police, and other institutions like that anyway. So it's not like our wealth is even being distributed to the people that need it. Okay. Sorry, I have, I have no to answer. No, no, you're totally good. Totally, okay, thanks a lot for having the conversation. But yeah, thanks for, I followed you on Instagram. Pardon? I'll, okay, I'll that's me. <laughs> nice to meet you. Pleasure to finally meet you, how are you? Pleasure. Thanks so much, stop me. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you too. How's it going, guys? Good to see you. Oh, do you like Landing. my shirt? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So you're from, what's stophate.com? That is his organization. <laughs> he does all the January 6th stuff. I do the investigating for January 6th. We're actually, we just saw Lila Morris, and that's, we're gonna go talk to her. She's so what do, you, what do you mean by the, like, the January 6th stuff? So we were both here on January 6th. We had a film crew. He was inside. He was actually next, next to Ashley when she got shot. Are next you serious? To her. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, was, I, was with, I was with Ashley Babbitt when she was shot. So who controlled the crowd? The crowd controlled the crowd. Okay, then. One it shot. It was a last resort to from what? a woman. The, an evacuated, an evacuated Senate chamber?